Yeah, good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time. And just to remind ourselves of this conference theme, and that is business value creation. Uh, and if you look at it in the context of IT, ITES, I think it becomes an extremely important topic to talk about for very simple reasons. Number one, it contributes $200 billion to the Indian economy. As my young friend already said, 7.5% of GDP. It gives 5 million households the reason why they live and they eat, because that's the employment number in IT, ITES. And from a business school perspective, if you go by the, by, go by the research done by Amit, 40% of recruitment of business schools happen from IT, ITES. So I think the parato of the problem of whether we are creating business value and whether you're doing it sufficiently and sustainably becomes an important topic. And I'm planning to run this session a little differently from the way moderation is usually done. I think we wouldn't, it, we wouldn't really be doing justice if we don't pull all this thing together in some kind of a framework that will help us to understand where the Indian IT, ITS industry is. And I, I, I think this word business value is probably one of the most used terms in academia as well as in business practice, but it's also a misused term lacks clarity in understanding, and nobody seems to have an answer to how do organizations do this in a sustainable way. I borrowed a framework from the Howard Kennedy School that provokes us to think of business value creation in two dimensions. Not a single dimensional problem, two dimensional problem. One is value creation, and the second is value capture. Value creation is what we deliver to customers. Value capture is the ability to get our customers to pay for it. Now, with that, I'm going to open up the, 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 here it is. And I'm going to run through this very quickly and tell you where our challenges in IT industry is. On the, on the, on the x-axis, value capture, y-axis is value creation. All organizations, when they are successful, start with quadrant one. They're in a dream. They think good times are going to last forever. They think they're never going to die. They think that Windows will give them revenue all the time, forever and ever, amen. And then suddenly, they find that customers are not willing to pay them price because they get getting the value out of the price they're being charged. The initial reaction is denial. The next reaction is mergers and acquisitions. Then they'll go into cost cutting. And then he'll try lobbying to see how they can prevent competition from coming in, like the US airlines industry did to Southwest, like Detroit did to the Japanese car makers and like the Indian IT industry may try to do uh, in order to keep the IBMs and the Deloitte's out. Just be aware of that. But we don't know what will happen, but that's the horizontal game. But before you know it, there's an info game coming in, and these guys are changing the value. They're offering customers value that is beyond the customer's dreams, and suddenly the incumbents realize they have to transform or they will die. But then there is a problem. There's a nightmare for these new entrants. They create value, but nobody's willing to pay them money for that value. I think the point that Sunil made may have got lost. The problem with IT, ITS is the biggest player is not more than 1%. So the minute Infogain goes and offers something, there's some joker from some part of the suburbs of Mumbai saying, sir, I'll give it to you for free. Now, how do you protect a marriage when you have so many handsome gentlemen looking around your house? <laughs> Difficult stuff. But then if somehow you're able to go through, you go to heaven, but the problem with heaven is, it's right on top and gravity takes over. <laughs> and before long, companies go back to being in a dream and thinking the world will not last. Which is why Christensen said, innovation never happens at the core. It only happens at the edge. Which is why it took a computing company to disrupt the mobile market. It took a technology company to get our bankers to get up and get onto the stage. That's the problem. Now, when you overlay this in the IT, ITS industry, what's our challenge? The challenge is our number one, two, three, four, five of IT industry is all in quadrant three. They keep generating value, but their bill rates aren't going up. In the last five years, the CAGR, or average revenue per employee, has come down by 7.5%. How do you get out of this? <laughs> give me more, give me more, for what? 
for free. And then we are on treadmill running faster and faster to be in the right place. And then if you're a startup, then you're looking for, for, for investors who have bottomless pockets and they'll keep investing, hoping that tomorrow will be a better day. A major part of the IT industry is in quadrant two. They don't know how to create value. And with that, I'll remind us of what Porto said. He said, competitive strategy is all about creating value, increasing the wedge, the size of the wedge between your costs and what your customer is willing to pay. And with that, I want to thank my fantastic panel. I want to thank a wonderful audience and thank you all for your time. <laughs>